so we are back with another style and girl you know what I, I don't know how i feel about this but let's just jump right into it i was walking around in my local walmart minding my business and i saw this product cantu has a new gel avocado hydrating gel it better not have any alcohol okay first thing on here it says alcohol free paraben free no mineral oils, no paraffins, phthalates. Okay, so this is made with avocado oil and shea butter. Apply a generous amount to each section. Mix with Cantu curling cream or curl activator cream to enhance definition. I ain't got, I, ain't, I don't have any one of those. I ain't got those. Now what I do have is the Cantu leave-in conditioning repair cream. But we're going to do the test before we apply all this stuff on my hair. Now, I have problems with this one, flicking up. <sighs> I'm gonna apply the gel here. Now, before we mix it, let's check out the consistency. It's like a typical gel. It has a light amber color. It smells like shampoo. Interesting. Okay, this is the gel. See, you know what? She's already curdling, and I'm like, stop! Don't complain, Vivian. Don't complain. All right, let's see what it does. Mm mm. Mm mm. Well, I think I have to be careful with how much I apply. This is what it looks like. Um, this is what it's doing. I'm not gonna use it. It's not mixing well. Um, I will go to my back and select a couple of different leave-ins. And I will all right, you guys. So I decided to go with the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner along with the Cantu Avocado Hair Gel. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking my hair down, lightly mist my hair with water, and then apply the leave-in conditioner along with the hair gel. Okay. guys so i am continuing to twist my hair up and y'all i my energy has been very low lately because i'm just not doing my hair the only thing i'm doing to my hair is washing my hair moisturizing that is it so styling to me is like girl what for so i'm trying to put on a happy face for y'all so i do apologize for my mood anyhow those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I felt like I've been experiencing protein overload. So for the past couple of washes, since early May actually, I've been very careful with the amount of protein I've been using, trying to use protein-free leave-in conditioners, hence the Honey Hydrate leave-in conditioner and the Lottie Body um, hair milk. However, now I feel like it's swinging the other way. I feel like I have too much moisture. My hair feels gummy. It feels extremely soft. Um, when I take down my twists, I hardly see any definition. So now I need to add protein. This is why it is really important to listen to your hair. Um, so perhaps within the next couple of washes, it will have to be like within the next two wash days, I would definitely have to do a light protein treatment. So now while I'm applying some hair oil, I will allow my hair to set for about three days applying the bonnet. And then next up, you're gonna see me take down the twists.
look at the definition. Now I will say compared to their other hair gels, this provided the least amount of hold. Then again, the um, the product did say that it provided flexible hold, which is okay. This is the bag. Um, definitely the green top, the Moroccan, what is that, Oregon oil, even the flaxseed provided more of a hold. But, I mean, look at the texture. Look at the definition. I'm, I'm still okay with this. And I do think I can get at least two to three days out of this particular um, twist out. So, you guys, that honey hydrate is sticky. It's oily. I can't have my hair in front of my face. I just feel... I feel greasy. I don't think I use a lot of the leave-in. It's just that particular leave-in conditioner. Um, with that being said, I really won't have to even re-moisturize my hair for a couple of days. So that's the benefit of the can, excuse me, of the honey hydrate. So this is what my hair looks like. Yes, girl. What do y'all think? So anyway, um, thank y'all so much for watching. Take care.